finally spotted outside Tesla's Fremont factory, the long-awaited 2026 Tesla Model 2 has been captured in what is arguably the most revealing leaked footage to date. But this isn't just another spy shot. What's hidden inside this prototype confirms a radical shift not only in Tesla's design language, but in its entire manufacturing philosophy. Elon Musk once teased a revolution in vehicle design, and now, we're finally seeing it in the metal. From chassis architecture to body panel strategy, Tesla's smallest and most affordable car may also be its most groundbreaking. This isn't about adding another EV to the lineup, it's about redefining how cars are built, customized, and repaired from the factory floor to the customer's driveway. While most coverage barely scratches the surface with exterior images and speculation, this analysis dives deep into the unseen layers of engineering that legacy automakers and rising Chinese EV brands likely hoped you'd never discover. First, we turn our eyes to the proportions, and what immediately stands out is the dramatically shortened wheelbase and extreme axle placement. In this leaked image, both the front and rear wheels are pushed so far toward the corners of the car that it leaves virtually no room for traditional suspension geometry. Measurements suggest the distance from the front axle to the front bumper is just 540 to 580 millimeters, and the rear is even tighter, 490 to 520 millimeters. Compared to the Model 3, which measures around 855 millimeters in the front and 835 millimeters in the rear, this represents a near 300 millimeters reduction at both ends. In automotive engineering, that's not just a bold decision, it's an act of defiance. Typical crash structures, auxiliary drivetrain mounts, and dynamic deformation zones all require 700 to 800 millimeters of space. So how is Tesla fitting it all in? The answer lies in giga casting. Tesla has likely eliminated all traditional subframes and cradles, opting instead for a fully integrated chassis in which the front and rear body blocks are cast as unified structures with the suspension and drive units embedded within. This is the same radical drivetrain consolidation first introduced in the Cybertruck, but now scaled for urban EVs. It's a design philosophy borrowed from Luman's prototypes, race cars engineered for maximum stiffness and minimal weight now being applied to a mass-market EV, likely to be sold for under $25,000. The result? A compact, highly maneuverable car with a sub 5 meter turning radius, perfectly suited for narrow European streets, dense US cities, and high traffic Asian markets. Tesla isn't tweaking how it builds cars, it's rewriting the blueprint. And then, there's the roofline, perhaps the most overlooked yet revealing design feature of all. At first glance, it may seem like a stylistic departure from the smooth arcs of the Model Y or Model 3, but closer inspection tells a different story. The roof appears to break sharply at the C-pillar, forming a visible 20 to 25 degrees angle between the upper panel and rear glass. This curvature is atypical and deliberate. Unlike previous Tesla models that feature continuous metal or glass extending from windshield to trunk, this abrupt break creates a distinct floating roof effect. And it's not just visual. The engineering evidence points to a modular roof design. The gap between the C-pillar and rear spoiler, estimated at 55 to 70 millimeters, is the smoking gun. It signals that the rear roof section is not welded or permanently bonded, but removable, interchangeable, and likely manufactured as a standalone module. This opens up a new world of customization and cost flexibility. A base variant could come with a simple laminated steel roof costing under $110. Premium trims could opt for a full glass roof between $320 and $380. And the top tier option? A solar integrated panel delivering 180 to 210 watts of passive charging ideal for hot regions or off-grid usage at a price point of just $600 to $750. All versions would connect using mechanical pins and a single data slash power interface, similar to the Cybertruck's roof tent latch system. This modular architecture enables Tesla to reduce production cost at scale while increasing profitability per upgrade. It also empowers consumers to configure or even upgrade roof options post-purchase, just like swapping smartphone backplates.
What was once a fixed component of the vehicle is now a feature platform, and this has never been done in mass EV production. But the real game changer may be found in the Model 2's rear quarter panels. Looking just behind the left rear wheel, there are two clean vertical panel lines separating the tail from the core body. This is not cosmetic, it's a strategic segmentation. Traditional Teslas have a fully integrated rear end, the bumper, tail lights, and trunk structure are stamped and welded into one large piece. But here, Tesla is clearly moving to a modular architecture. The lower rear module likely includes the bumper, lighting array, reverse sensors, and perhaps even a 12V or 24V battery system estimated to measure roughly 1,350mm wide and 450mm tall. It's designed for fast detachment, 6 to 8 fasteners, 1 plug connector, and it's off ideal for both manufacturing and post collision repair. A more sophisticated LED version could cost under $350 while the base version stays near $120. Above it, a second panel module houses the rear glass, spoiler, camera mount, and trunk hinge, built to open from the roof or side like a hatchback, allowing for different market versions without altering the main body shell. These modular zones, borrowed from commercial EVs like the Rivian EDV and Design Forward Concepts from McLaren, introduce the most ambitious service-centric panelization ever seen in a consumer EV. The benefits are staggering. Rear-end collisions account for nearly half of all urban crashes under 40 miles per hour. On a Model 3, average rear repair cost is $1,842. With this modular approach, that could fall to under $400, democratizing repair access for middle and lower income buyers. Tesla is not only optimizing how cars are made. It's fundamentally redesigning how they are maintained, upgraded, and kept on the road affordably for years to come. Even the paint strategy on this prototype reveals deep innovation. From the leaked footage, it's clear the Model 2's entire center body shell is painted in a glossy, high-reflective white, while the front and rear sections remain covered in testing wraps. But here's what makes this so important, there are no seams, no tape lines, no wrap overlays. This is not a disguise. It's a partial body paint trial, a pioneering production tactic where Tesla only paints the center monocoque body shell, leaving the front and rear modular components to be either painted separately or pre-colored in lightweight composites. This method drastically cuts paint shop time. Traditional Tesla paint cycles in Fremont take 42 to 45 minutes per vehicle. With partial painting, that drops by over 40%, to around 24 to 26 minutes. And it doesn't stop there. By painting a standardized core shell and attaching region-specific modules later, Tesla can serve multiple global markets using the same central body, simply tailoring front and rear end caps to meet local regulations, styling trends, or feature sets. This method, called post-paint final zoning, is being tested at Giga Berlin for future Raba taxi fleets, and now it appears to be coming to Fremont's production lines. Each line that once maxed out at 475,000 units annually may now be able to push well over 950,000 vehicles per line. With two lines across Fremont and Giga Texas, Tesla could realistically produce over 2 million Model 2 units per year, using existing infrastructure. No new Giga factories. Just smarter production. Smarter design. Smarter delivery. So now that we've dissected everything from wheelbase geometry and giga casting integration, to roof modularity, quarter panel strategy, and partial paint trials, the conclusion is clear, this is not just a car. It's a manufacturing revolution in disguise. Elon Musk's vision of building a $25,000 EV for the masses isn't just about price, it's about rebuilding the entire life cycle of a vehicle from how it's cast to how it's painted, customized, crashed, and repaired. Tesla isn't creating a cheaper car. They're creating an entirely new automotive ecosystem, one where design, engineering, logistics, service, and personalization are unified in a way no legacy automaker or EV startup has even come close to achieving. And this leak? It confirms that future is already here, in Fremont, right now. 
If you're as stunned by this evolution as we are, drop your thoughts below whether it's wheelbase, rear roofline, modular rear, or partial paint, we want to hear which innovation impressed you most. And if you want deep, real, technical Tesla content that goes beyond the headlines, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Because this is just the beginning. The Model 2 is more than a car. It's the first truly next-generation machine, built not just to move, but to scale.